A new 3D printer just arrived. A uh, cat not included. And it's big, like really big. So Elegoo sent me the Saturn 3 12K printer, and I want to show you my results and tell you my thoughts at the end of this video. But first things first, let's see what's included inside the box. Oh, look at that. There's a 3D printer in here. Oh, nice. And there's plenty of protective foam, so don't worry about this getting damaged during shipping. There's a screen protector, and another, and another. And I really like the style and look of this build plate. We'll see if it's any better. Alright, I got out my printer and my printer accessories. Included is this carbon filter to, um, to, to reduce exposure to resin fumes. Yes, I was about to say, since resin is toxic, you want to do the best you can to stay safe. There it is, I was looking for this. Instructions. And they're pretty good, so I'll follow this from here on out. And pro tip, these printers work better when they're turned on. And now for step one, we need to get this build plate all loosey-goosey. It arrived pretty tense. And use the official leveling card, which looks like paper with the word leveling written on it. Home the build plate and tighten well. Then raise the plate up just a small amount so there's just a little bit of friction on the paper. And then you can set the Z position and we're level. The instructions now say to test the screen. The screen displays the UV light to cure the resin, so it's important to check that it works. And it does. Now I thought that I could use the same resin that I used for my Mars 2 Pro printer, but this recommended the higher resolution resin, because this printer is a 12K monitor. And because of the very low health benefits of resin printing, I moved my printer down to the garage. And just for a size comparison, this is the difference between my Mars 2 Pro and now the new Saturn 3 printer. Yeah, there, there it is. And it looks a little thirsty, so I'll fill it up just under the max capacity line. And the USB that it came with already has a test print, so let's print that. The build plate will do its little dance in the resin, and after a few hours, it's ready to eat. Ah, kidding. Of course, never eat. Duh. In fact, we're not even done with this print. The next step is to clean off the remaining resin with rubbing alcohol. And would you look at that, it, it doesn't fit. This printer is just that big. Maybe I can try at an angle, maybe like this. Well, okay, I need to get a larger one, but this kind of works for now. I actually used to use a hammer to help remove the model from the old build plate, but this new build plate is perfect. It holds just enough to be easily removed. It must have something to do with that fancy new textured design. And I recommend that you make sure the alcohol is completely dry. Any liquid remaining could block the curing process. And speaking of curing, we're now ready to let the UV light fully cure the model. And I always try to cure with a couple different positions to make sure that all sides are cured. And I'll show you these results soon, but let's make our own model too using the provided lifetime license to Voxel Dance, which is their own slicer program. And this UI looks pretty nice and is very clean and easy for me to understand. And right now it doesn't know exactly what printer I have, so I'll find and add my printer so it knows the right specs. And I'll add a couple models since the build plate is so big, I can print two models at the same time. I'll first hollow out these models to save on resin and then auto generate supports and then quickly view the slices. And you can see how high this resolution really is. And you can save out many different file formats, but I want to try the new .gu file format. And the supports worked great. They were very easy to detach, which is what I want. And we'll see the final results soon, but I want to test this printer's scale. So let's max out this Mandalorian model. Full capacity this time. And I have to keep reminding myself, you don't have to always print large with a large printer. So I want to see how small I can print too. And one great advantage to resin printing is that each layer takes the same amount of time. So printing just one cat ring takes the same amount of time as printing all of these cat rings. Which you can't say the same thing for an FDM printer. But anyways, it's finally time to review all of our prints. So let's see how they turned out. And of course, the test print turned out perfect in all of its tiny details. And I can't even see the layer lines. It looks like injection molding. So let me just explain what happened here. I filmed all these shiny models, but while editing I was wondering how it would look with a matte finish. So I went back and I sprayed all of them with a frosted glass spray. And I set up my camera again, and I filmed it all again. So I'm going to show you first the shiny, and also the matte finish. And comment below which is your favorite. There's just something I kind of like about the matte finish too. It almost resembles a clay texture. But let me know your thoughts. This Plague Knight was 3D sculpted by my friend, and I'm going to link to his channel below, so check it out if you want. So here is the shiny version, which picks up more of the colored lighting. And here is the matte, which I think also looks pretty cool. And damn, this model is huge. It's by far the biggest resin print I've ever made. And here's a soda can for reference, if, if that helps. Uh, maybe that's a weird scale. Maybe I'm just thirsty. I, I don't know. But it's so smooth, it doesn't even look 3D printed to me, even up close. So this is the shiny model, and oh god, no. Ah, is he okay? G cut. Okay, and we're back, everything's fine. And here is the matte finish. And it somehow looks even smoother to me. Maybe the spray kind of helps make the model look even more smooth. 
Uh, give it a try and let me know what you think, too. But what about the small prints? No, smaller. Small. There we go. And these models were also made by my friends, so I'll link below to their channels. And look at how tiny this one is. It captured all of the fingers. And it, it doesn't even look too bad. And same thing for this, um, Pikachu. P Pika Char... or, or Char... 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 Zoo. Which I printed even small... Oops. I printed crazy tiny. Like, why would anyone print this small? I mean, what would you even... Do? And it's lost. And I can tell this is a T-Rex, obviously, but it can't quite capture too many of these small details, so, so it's better to print at a little larger scale. And this looks pretty nice to me, it really captured a lot of texture and detail. And I'll definitely have fun painting these models later. So yeah, all these look a little better at a larger scale. And thanks again to my friends for sending me these 3D sculpts for me to print. So if you can't tell already, I like this printer, I like the quality, I got some really good results. So I hope you got something out of this video. I want to thank you for watching, I hope we can hang out again sometime, so see you next time.